Hello and welcome to ISC class 11 maths tutorial. I'm Lesser. Today we are going to learn how to find out the distance of a point P from a given straight line. Before we start, I have a shared key. दो लाइन सुनाता हूं शायर कहता है अब तक किसी ख्याल में उलझा हुआ हूं मैं अब तक किसी ख्याल में उलझा हुआ हूं मैं अपने बदल गए हैं के बदला हुआ हूं मैं अपने बदल गए हैं के बदला हुआ हूं मैं एक और शेर सुने कौन सी बात कहां कैसे कही जाती है कौन सी बात कहां कैसे कही जाती है यह सलीका हो तो हर बात सुनी जाती है यह सलीका हो तो हर बात सुनी जाती है थैंक यू द क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इज द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट पी O2 from the straight line 5x minus 12y minus 9 is equal to 0. This is the question. The point is P. The point is P. question the question is this there's a point p coordinates are 4 2 4 and 2 And the straight line is pi x minus 12 y, pi x minus 12 y, pi x minus 12 y, minus 9 is equal to 0, minus 9 is equal to 0. This is the given straight line. We are going to find out the distance of this line from this point P or the distance of the point P from this line. Either way, it is the same thing. Fine. Now, first, let me tell you the formula. The formula is solution. solution first let me tell you the formula if there is a point if there is a point p and coordinates are x1 y1 and the line is x x plus by plus c is equal to 0. If this is the line and this is the point, for example, the line is this and the point is somewhere here. Suppose this is the point P. This is the point P and this is the line. We have to find out the distance. Uh, it goes without saying that the perpendicular distance because whenever we say distance that means we are talking about the perpendicular distance the shortest distance shortest means perpendicular so uh, we need not say the perpendicular distance distance means perpendicular so the distance of this point P from this line that means this perpendicular all right 
this if we call this as a small p the point is x1 y1 x1 and y1 and the line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 ax plus by c equal to 0, then the formula is p is equal to p is given by small p, the length of the perpendicular is equal to a x1, alright, a x1 plus b y1 plus c upon root a square plus b square. This is the formula. Alright. A x is replaced by x1 and y is replaced by y1. Alright. So a a x1 plus b y1 plus c whole divided by a squared, A is the coefficient of x and B is that of y. So root A squared plus B squared. Fine. And because it is distance, so we take mod, positive value. Alright? We take positive value. This is the formula. The same formula we are going to use here. In our case, x1, y1 is this and ax plus b, y plus c is equal to 0 is this. Is that fine? Okay. So, can I rub this now? All right. Can I rub? All right. So, we start. Now, this is the part of solution. You have to write down once again. P is this, line is this. If the small p be the length of the perpendicular, then a small p is equal to a small p is equal, right? Small p is equal to modulus straight line. Mod. Uh, a x one. First, let me write down this and then I'll draw that. A x1 plus b y1 plus c all divided by root a square plus b square. This is the formula mod positive value positive value and this is equal to in our case 5 into 4 5 into 4 how to write down bracket or uh, into anything is okay 5 into 4 all right minus 12 y is 2 into 2 and minus 9 all divided by root a square means 4 is a square means 5 square plus b square b square means 12 square actually b is minus 12 so minus 12 square minus 12 square a x1 plus b a as it is x is replaced by x1 plus b as it is and y is replaced by y1 plus c whole divided by a square plus b square fine of course in modulus okay now this is equal to 
this is equal to. This you can write down. Z is equal to uh, 5 fours are 20. All right. Minus 24. And minus 9. And whole divided by root how much? 25 plus 144. 25 plus 144. How much? 144 plus 25. Uh, I should write down. Okay, so I am writing. 25 plus 144. This gives you 169. Alright, modulus. Modulus. And this is equal to this equals uh, 20 minus 24 and minus 9. So is it minus 13? Please check. Minus 13 whole divided by uh, 169. The square root is 13. Alright. So the square root is 13. Modulus. This is equal to minus 1. Mod. And this is equal to 1. Because we take positive value. Alright. This should be the answer. Let me check. 16F1 is the answer. Correct. Right. So 1 is the answer. Clear. The formula is important. Remember the formula. Now see, if the question says that the distance between the distance of the point P from the line this or the distance of the line this from the point P, either way is okay. Distance means perpendicular distance. Distance that means you are going to find out the perpendicular distance. The length of the perpendicular you can say. The length of the perpendicular. Is that fine? I hope everything is very very clear thanks for watching the lesson bye for now